In June 2009, multiple consignments of kiwi fruit material were sent from China to Tipuki company Kiwi Pollen. Numerous industry scientists believe that PSA got into the country through these Chinese shipments, which would have come through MAF warehouses like these. And Otago University's Russell Poulter says there's something particularly fishy about one of these shipments received by Kiwi Pollen. I think there was one importation that was regrettable uh, from China. Usually you process pollen so that it's pure pollen. It appears that it was not highly purified pollen. It appears that it was anthers. Now anthers is a preliminary step in the purification of pollen and it's nothing like as pure. You know, it's sure. more likely to have debris from the petals and the sepals and things like that. And I don't, speaking from complete ignorance, I don't see why that got across the border. Because MAF had the rule in place that it had to be pollen, and it wasn't pollen. And they should simply have stopped it and yeah. said, no, it doesn't comply with the regulations. For reasons that I don't understand, it got across the border. But if that import smells fishy, Mr Poulter says the official investigation into the PSA outbreak stinks. MAF's PSA Pathways Tracing Report says that only 15 grams of Chinese pollen was imported in this shipment, and therefore it found that there was only a low chance of PSA having got into the country via this means. Yet information uncovered by growers through the Official Information Act show far more kiwi fruit material than 15 grams was actually brought in. Export certificates from China show that in June 2009, kiwi pollen imported 4.5 kilos of Chinese kiwi fruit anthers. It is believed that the company tested them for viability, but found they weren't good enough to pollinate with. So the billion dollar question is, just how did kiwi pollen dispose of the anthers? But kiwi pollen is refusing to talk about it. Hello, I was wondering if uh, Jill or Graham were there, please. Yes, calling, please. Uh, my name is Benedict Collins. I'm a journalist with uh, Country 99 TV News. Is that Jill? Uh, we're not really interested in any media attention, thank you. And the PSA Pathways Tracing Report says MAF was unable to verify how kiwi pollen disposed of its Chinese kiwi fruit material. If you were to say, take a wild guess, where did it come from? I would say it came from that consignment. Uh, but, but you know, that's different to a proof. It's just a question of balanced probability. We asked MAF, now known as the Ministry for Primary Industries, just why they let in kiwi fruit anthers when it appears to be against their own rules. But they refused to comment. In fact, MAF is refusing to answer any questions relating to PSA as long as an independent review on its report is ongoing. It's the same line they've been using for the last seven months. It didn't take seven months for bacterial epidemiologist Dr John Young to review MAF's Pathways Tracing Report. Dr Young said it glossed over the most likely pathway, pollen imports, before reaching the convenient conclusion that we'll likely never know how it arrived. He summed up the report with just one word, whitewash. As a company though, we would stop short uh, of being critical of MAF. Uh, you know, there has been a report uh, done on that. We're waiting to see that report uh, with in in interest, as is the industry. Let's wait and see, uh, and see what that report says and, and make our judgments once we've seen that. And as the two year anniversary of PSA's arrival in New Zealand nears, many growers remained furious with MAF. MAF did an appalling job, right from the um, from Biosecurity New Zealand, who did not um, do anything as a result of the Italian outbreak of PSA. They knew that things were really, really bad in Italy, and they didn't stop um, plant material imports into New Zealand, especially pollen. They didn't do any quarantine, they just let the disease into New Zealand and destroyed our entire um, gold kiwi fruit industry as a result. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.